everybody it's gail from gail's bookish things happy monday hope y'all are doing well we're having a cold and rainy monday here so i'm enjoying being inside right now and having my nice hot drink and getting ready to do this book review with you i haven't done a book review in a long time a year or so ago i had some of my younger kids talk about a book they liked and that's probably not the top subject that gets views or holds people's interest but I um, love this book so much and I just thought it'd be a fun thing to share and I had the wedding all weekend um, busy stuff with the wedding all weekend so this is just a good way to start out the last week of vlogtober um, my daughter gave this to me a year or so ago for Christmas or my birthday, my oldest daughter. She knows that I love England. I love all things England and would just love to spend more time there. I got to go once. Um, I don't know. There's something about the villages and the history. Uh, I don't know. Um, I just really like it. So... She bought me this book. It's called A Fine Romance. It's by Susan Branch, and you may be familiar already with her art. Um, I first got to know her art style through some calendars, and I had a uh, address book for a while featuring her art. So I, I love her art style. Uh, you'll see some of it in here. Um, and the subtitle here, by the way, is Falling in Love with the English Countryside. So... Everything about this book is just so well done and so attractive. That's all her handwriting, so that's super cool. As you can see on the back, there's this um, picture. It's, it's her, and it's a drawing that she did and some words that she wrote around the um, illustration here. So it is a book that's full of detail. Let's take off the cover and you'll see more of what I'm, well, I'm sorry. We don't want to take off the cover. We want to look right in here, not take off the cover entirely. It's a nice brown cover, but nothing exciting about that. Um, but in here, it's just as if you had in your hand her journal. And I'd almost call it in a way what I would call sort of a um, scrapbook or, or junk journal maybe. Um, so there's these neat effects like here the lyrics to the song and then there's like these postcard images and cards like uh, well the Royal Oak Foundation English Heritage so different uh, membership things from England there's a cute little illustration of one of her lambs. And then here's some close-ups of coins. And maybe, maybe these are actual sizes, but there's Winston Churchill, Queen Elizabeth, um, a pin, more vintage postcard images and stamps and little flower things as if those things were actually right here. A fortune, some tickets to a... Uh, museum. So uh, the whole book is just delightful to read. So what happened was um, her and her husband decided to take a trip to England and I think they spent I want to say two or three weeks. There was a nice a nice amount of time uh, which would be so good to do and really immerse yourself in the experience and not be rushed. So she talks a little bit about how she met her husband, a little bit of background. There's this just beautiful art throughout. She's so detailed and it's so cute. And then so the whole book, I just want to show you like every page. And I guess I can't really do that. But if your table of contents, there's a map of their trip. So I keep interrupting myself. That is my like uh, signature thing to do. <laughs> they took a trip to England. But they did it the old-fashioned way, I guess you could call it. And they took a boat across, a ship across from, I guess, New York. Went to England, drove throughout, taught themselves, if I remember right, how to, to drive on what would be for us the opposite side of the road with the steering wheel on the other side of the car. She has cute quotes throughout, 
it's just these fun little drawings like stars and hearts. Uh, G.K. Chesterton quote there. He has an adorable little sugar or tea. Um, maybe that's a teapot actually. And so, well here, I just want to show you everything. All these pretty drawings. So she wrote out all of this. This is all her handwriting. So it's like taking her journal and it's been recreated to be a book, but you just feel like you're reading her travel journey. So I just love it. It was so much fun. She's got lots of fun writing pictures. So some of the pictures are illustrations. Some are, yeah, here's one from an old movie. It's Fred Astaire there. Um, her special man. Her picture of one of her original houses. Would you like to live on Martha's Vineyard in a quaint cottage like that? That would be like my dream home now. Um, anyway, so it's it's just all their experience, and there's humor in here. She talks about this, uh, I can't remember. It's been about a year since I've read this. I think it was a type of fruit drink or something that they had there that kept coming up. So anyway, like I said, quotes, actual pictures from real things that they saw, or, or like, like I mentioned earlier, a ticket or a coupon or something. Their drawings and then all about their trip, Bon Voyage. And there was this little cute little toy, I think this is what's represented there, that they brought along that was from her husband's childhood, I think. So it's kind of a, a cute little thing that he keeps popping up here and there. So there's some opening information and then you get like a day-by-day -day, um, log I guess you'd call it of their trip cross the crossing I think is the right terminology for that there's a difference between if you were going as a voyage or if you were going in a quicker manner and I don't know if I have the right terminology there but anyway, it's just delightful if you want to feel like you're on vacation and you can't be. If you want to go to England, see all these places like I want to, but you maybe can't do that right now or maybe never will get to. This is just a fun way to vicariously live through their experience. It's all beautiful, beautifully illustrated, fun photos. You feel like you're there. And she's so descriptive and humorous and detailed and funny funny and humorous, I guess, are the same thing in her book here. You just feel like you're along with it. So there, she makes up some new rules about just relaxing, enjoying the voyage, voyage of life, and really the voyage of their trip. There's some Beatrix Potter things that they saw. So if you want some lighthearted reading, but something that's educational, something that's appealing to the eye. So if you are drawn towards visually detailed things that are beautifully made, artistic, classy, but whimsical, I think you would enjoy this book. And if you have a desire or interest in travel, if you are interested in the history and the geography of another country, for me, another country, um, I would recommend this book. So you will just feel like you have been to all these fun places with um, Susan Branch and her husband, Joe. Here's a good example of what I mean when I say sort of scrapbooky or like a, a junk journal, but junk journal isn't the right term because that's kind of how you construct your journal. But here, there's some writing, there's, there's some photos, there's pictures of stores, the drawing or the handwriting that she does, the little details in the corner, and it's just artistic, it's around the edge, also 
with a comment under each picture. It's beautifully, beautifully done. I have to reread it, I think. Maybe I'll make that one of my readings this summer or this winter, I mean. As cold weather approaches. So cute. And you get the idea. I can do a quick uh, thumb through like this. But they talk about places where they had tea. They talked about places where they stayed. Um, I forgot about this. Some recipes. And just like little, little details about their journey. Illustrating teacups and teapots. Shops that they visited. Pictures of the countryside. So it is a delightful book. And I don't keep, you know, every book I have. Of course, my house would be packed by now. Uh, periodically, I will weed through our books and determine if it's something we just want to have. Because as someone once said recently, uh, I think it was South Shore Paper, but, you know, is this a book worthy of space on your bookshelf? I liked that. And that, that's a good um, determining... Uh, what's the word I want? Just a factor to consider or a standard, I guess. Is is this worth keeping long term? And this book definitely is. Like I said, so fun to read, so interesting. It's like you're there, like a good book is. And I mean, the drawings are so fun to look at. I love James Harriet's books. And so it looks like they got to visit where he practiced uh, veterinarian medicine or maybe where he um, some of his background growing up years I, I don't remember it's been a little bit since I've read the book but I came across this on my shelf the other day I'm like this is going to be a good book review it's just so neat I mean I just love paging through this now a lot of England and I think they primarily did um more countryside, more um, more places like you see here, quaint uh, places to eat, to do tea, Kentish apple cake, fruit scones, cream, and strawberry jam. Yes, please, I will take all of that. I went to England a long time ago when a friend had just had a baby, and I went with her mom, and we got to do a little bit of traveling while we were there. And I loved the tradition of tea. I loved seeing the history. I mean, places are like 500 years old. And old in the United States is um, can be old, you know, but we think a couple hundred years, where there it was hundreds of years. And it just, there's something about that that has so much character and history wrapped up in it that I absolutely love. So in the back, there's a... Um, see index that's what I wanted to call it I'm a little bit uh, groggy from lack of sleep we got up really early the wedding day and we're there for probably 12 hours or so and so setting up and cleaning up made for a long day but a very joyful day my daughter and her new husband were just so happy and it was a really happy wonderful day so anyway, that's why I'm feeling like I'm not on top of my game today. Just a little bit worn out, but all in all good kind of worn out. So you need a good read. You want to go somewhere in your imagination with lots of pictures and detailed and engaging writing. I'd really recommend Susan Branch's A Fine Romance, Falling in Love with the English Countryside. That's all for today. Maybe this actually stayed kind of short. I'll stop talking so it stays in that... Uh, place of being not too long so thanks for joining me today we'll see you again tomorrow with our almost end of October we're getting there uh, thanks all of you who've commented and watched this month um, and we'll see you again tomorrow talk to you then bye